as that man, Cedinho, being congratulated, won the game in the second overtime period. And the play from Ricky Davis, and a great individual effort by Cedinho around Donnelly, and the hard shot that Alan Mayer, who was brilliant all night, could not handle. And the Cosmos had won two to one. Cedinho and the Cosmos a winner last weekend. Soccer from RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C. The Cosmos meet the Washington Diplomats. Brought to you by Budweiser, the king of beer. When you say Budweiser, you've said it all. And by the Volkswagen and Porsche Audi dealer organization in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. by your nearby independent golf dealer who carries quality Cruise Master tires, batteries, and accessories. See him for all your automotive needs. And by your local neighborhood McDonald's. It's cold and overcast here in the nation's capital, RFK Stadium, but before it's over, it should be a very warm afternoon because on the field, two of the best teams in the NASL, the Cosmos, the Washington Diplomats. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Carvelis, together with Werner Roth and Seamus Mallon, welcoming you to our second game of the season. Warner, let's talk about the New York Cosmos. We have a new player on the club, and, and I know that the Cosmos know it's going to be a tough game. Uh, they do, Jim. As a matter of fact, uh, Eddie Romani has scouted the Diplomats extensively, and it's affected our lineup. Uh, somewhat. Uh, Franz Beckenbauer moves back into midfield and uh, Wim Reisbergen comes in at the center back position. Uh, we're going to put an extra man in midfield uh, with Terry Garbett and Ricky Davis taking up most of the defensive midfield duties and uh, Franz and Bogey uh, acting as offensive midfield players. Uh, but essentially we're going to have a 3-4-3 three, three lineup with uh, Carlos Reisbergen and Escudero in the back. So it should be a good matchup. All right, Seamus, I know these Washington diplomats uh, are a dangerous team. They are a dangerous team, and uh, you must remember that this is the first time in the last two years that the Cosmos have come in here in early season. Uh, previously, they've had the division wrapped up, and it's not been a very serious match. Now this is a very serious match, and Washington has responded accordingly. Gordon Bradley, of course, an ex-Cosmo coach. Yarushi and Dylan on this team, ex-Cosmos. There's a lot of uh, enmity there, a lot of competition. So I think that they're going to be fired up for this one. All right, we'll be back with today's exciting game right after these messages. Stadium in the nation's capital, Jim Carvella, Seamus Mallon, and Werner Roth. The Cosmos will be dressed in their white uniforms with those familiar uh, bumblebee socks, uh, rings of gold and blue, and the diplomats in red. Let's quickly go to the starting lineup. Seamus? The Cosmos will start today with Yassine in goal, and uh, Eskandarian, Reisenberg, Alberto, and Beckenbauer in the back four. In midfield, we will have Terry Garbett, Bogicevic, and Davis, and up front, Denny Tourt, Giorgio Canaglia, and Seninho. And the diplomat starting lineup. We'll have Bill Irwin in goal, Yarushi, Dylan, Draghi, and O'Hara in the backfield. In midfield, Viteskovic, Steele, and Horvath. And up front, Sonny Askew, Stokes, and Alan Green. All right, those are your starting lineups. And uh, Seamus pointed out in the in the uh, pregame, I thought it was a very good point, Seamus. The Cosmos have come here the last couple of years, played without Beckenbauer and Kinalia because it was usually the last game of the regular season or next to last, and they wanted, they were getting ready for the playoffs. And the Washington management was even upset about it. They, in fact, complained to the league office because uh, people had come out here to see Franz. Well, they'll see him today. And the Cosmos fans are hoping they'll see a lot of them. Now the Cosmos with the opening kickoff. Carlos Alberto. Over to Ricky Davis. Davis on the left sideline. Now looking, looking. Plays it back to Franz in the middle of the field. Bogey right next to him. Now to Carlos Alberto. Cosmos trying to build. The game just underway. Now to Bogey. He chipped into the box, intending it for Kinaya, but Bill Irwin is out to pick it off. Winner of this Washington club has, has been known to be a tough physical team. 
It has been, Jim, uh, and one of the uh, reasons for it is uh, a player that's not in the lineup today, Paul Canal, who's uh, on the bench. Uh, but overall, with uh, Mike Dillon and Robert Yarushi, two players that we know very well, and Gordon Bradley on the bench, I think it's going to be a, one interesting ball game. All right, Washington with the ball now. Diplomats have won their first two games of the year. And the Cosmos, as you know, have won their only game of the year. Ricky Davis heads it out of the box. And the Cosmos come the other way. This is Bogey. Bogey to coming for the midfield line. No score in the game, but just underway. Kinalia now, just into Washington zone, being marked very, very closely. His pass for Ricky Davis, not a very good one. Two ex Cosmos playing against their mates here today, Mike Dillon. And of course, Bobby Arushi. There's Bobby Arushi with the ball, number two. Zanino hounding him. The pass comes to Viteskic in the middle of the field. Viteskic, not a bad player. Viteskic looking now. Arushi's coming forward. Long chip in the box, and there's Yassi with the ball. Seamus, the Cosmos, although they won two to one in San Diego, were not really thrilled with their performance. No, they didn't really have that er, that uh, fluidity and rhythm that you want uh, from a team that has got a lot of individual talent. But uh, it'll come. There's a, there's a lot of determination out there to make it go this season. Uh, and I'm sure it's just a matter of, of playing into a few games. Right. Now you and Jim and Joe, you saw, was broken up. And here's Yassine beating Alan Green to the ball. Watch Alan Green. A little goal score. He's only about five foot five. This is a new Cosmo. Ricebergen along the right wing, and it's Terry Garvin with the ball. The Cosmos trying to attack. Knocked over the far sideline by Jimmy Steele. Cosmos will throw it in. That's Garvin number 14. Play it out to Bogey. Tight marking against the Cosmos. That happens every single time the Cosmos play. The only way to play him when is a long lead. And Ricebergen got to the ball beautifully before Alan Green. Now, there's a great saving play by the new Cosmo, Ricebergen. It's going to be an interesting situation here with uh, Ricebergen uh, in his first game for the Cosmos, having to cover uh, quick and uh, uh, expert forward, like you mentioned, Jim. And I think it's going to be the fans will be able to see what a player of Ricebergen's caliber can do here. It's a good thing we weren't on AstroTurf because the Cosmos would have been in more trouble there, Seamus. That ball would have bounced forward. That's right. The grass is quite thick and heavy down here, and, and they were very fortunate to get a slow bounce there. Uh, to follow up on Werner's point, I think you will see uh, the Dips trying to hit Alan Green on those quick through balls from the middle of the field. They hope to, uh, to clamp down on the Cosmos midfield, win the ball there, and see if they can get the swift uh, Alan Green breaking through the middle. It's almost come off a couple of times. All right, Rice Bergen's on Green. Green beat him. There's a cross in front, headed toward goal and just past goal. That was Bobby Stokes with a header. I think that's going to be a combination we'll see a lot of today. Green to Stokes. Uh, Green beating uh, Rice Bergen on the outside. He's very quick, and I think you're going to see Vim. He's going to adjust somewhat after realizing what kind of a player Green is. Cannell is not playing, and of course the New York fans are familiar with Cannell from a couple of years ago when he busted Bobby Rigby's shoulder. Very physical player. And of course, when they get Cannell in here and have Green beating fullbacks and crossing the ball in the box of Cannell, this will really be a tough club. Not that they're not tough right now. All right, with the ball, this is Reisberg and tackled off the ball, and Jimmy Steele had the foul. Jim Steele, and talk about physical. He's called the Secretary of Defense here in Washington. And he comes to play. He's a hard player, hard Scottish player. He's got, Kinalia. he's got the right name for it. Now to Tour on the right side. Tour going against O'Hara now. This will be a good matchup today. Tour to the goal line. O'Hara played him well, but Tour stays on the ball. Then he Tour still working with the ball. And it's going to be corner kick Cosmos, last touch by O'Hara. Jim, that attack all came because uh, Franz Beckenbauer was allo allowed to hit a 30-yard ball through the middle to Giorgio, and that's something that uh, Gordon Bradley's not going to be too happy to see because that's what he wants to stop. Here comes the corner. Not very good. And Horvath, a good midfield player who they picked up from Rochester, makes the play. Now, Horvath is an attacking midfield player. He scores goals and he sets goals up. He's been a big addition to this club. This club had problems, Werner, in the midfield last year, and it doesn't appear they're going to have problems now with a guy like Horvath there. Herb Horvath was definitely uh, a good acquisition for the uh, situation they were involved with last year. As you said, a weak midfield. Uh, Horvath coming in and uh, really doing a great job for them. Now you see Jimmy Steele, who's usually a sweeper. And he's playing in the middle of the field, and you notice he's marking all over the place. He's there to break up the Cosmos attack in the middle of the park. 
Now this is Tinaya as it knocked over the near sideline by Mike Dillon, the next teammate of Giorgio's. Beckenbauer to Ricky Davis saved it nicely, but Dillon's picked it off. This is Sonny Askew, young American player who scored his first goal last week against Atlanta. Now it's Alberta to break it up and bang it all the way down the field. Carlos Alberto. Cosmos and the Diplomats here at RFK Stadium. The sun trying to come out. It's an overcast and a chilly day. It's great football weather. On the left side, here's Horvath. Bad pass. To it and his pass for Beckenbauer. Handball, Washington. This program is authorized and the rights granted by the Cosmos solely for the entertainment of our audience and any publication, broadcast, or the use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this event, including the imposition of a charge for viewing the program without the express consent of the Cosmos is strictly prohibited. And now offside. Green was offside on the Jim Steele pass. And again, they were looking to do that, that long ball to the quick little Allen Green. And this time they were picked up for being offside. And Jim, they also got that attack going because they were able to steal the ball in the middle of the field, steal it from a, a combination effort by, uh, I think it was by Bogey and uh, Dennis. You see Steele coming in to knock it away from Beckenbauer. That's his job today, to break up the Cosmos attack in the middle of the field, in the boiler room, stop it before it gets going. Now it's Viteskic with the ball in the Cosmos zone. Looking now, Beckenbauer has come over to Mark. Viteskic still with the ball. Back King on the left. And now in the box, headed high in the air. Look out, Yassin's come out to pick it off. Ahead of Sonny Askew. And now the long throw to Reisenberg, who's thinking offense. Reisenberg now approaching the midfield line. Sanino, who hasn't had much of the ball. That's Green chasing him. Washington looks like San Diego now, Warner, really marking hard, working hard all over the field, trying to stop the Cosmos from getting it going. I think that we're going to see a lot of that all game long. Gordon knows what type of a team we have here. He knows the ability of the players that are playing, and that the most effective way to undercut them is to mark tight. Kinaya. Kinaya lobs it toward the goal, and it's headed over the goal. That was going in. That was going in. That was a fine play, and Kinaya made a brilliant effort. But that man, Don Dreggy, saved the day. He's another acquisition from Rochester in the offseason, a young American defender. He saved the goal. Sanino outside to Franz Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer to Tour to the box. Tour it shot. Yeah. What a goal by Teddy Tour. And he took it beautifully. Keeper came out and Tour hooked it in the corner. What a goal. Uh, Denny uh, sinfully unmarked to the penalty area. That's incredible. Incredible to leave a player of this ability alone in the middle of the box. Watch him move, move in. Look at him glide across the penalty area into open space. Nobody catches him. He is spotted very easily by Franz. He turns and then just gently pushes it with the inside of his right foot in off the post. Lovely piece of skill by Dennis and a great piece of running to get himself open. What a great shot as he hooked it around the keeper and glanced it off the post. Cosmos break it up. Alberto clearing the bogey. The Cosmos on top one other with Denny Tort's first goal of 1979. What a beautiful goal. And you're right, Seamus, he was completely unmarked in the box. And you don't give Tewart that kind of room any time, right, Werner? Definitely, and uh, especially when a player like Franz Beckenbauer has got the ball and is the one that's going to get it to him. I think uh, possibly Washington management will wish after this game that we might have left Franz at home as well. Mike Riesenberg fouling Alan Green that time. Riesenberg the big job on the quick little green. All right, the first. Free kick of the game. Let's see who takes it for Washington. There's a good shot of the goal. This is what Yassin is looking at. Let's see who takes this now. Green's there. Steele is there. It'll be Greeny over the top. From Washington, D.C., the Cosmos leading the Washington Diplomats. 1-0, 35 minutes to play in the first half. We shall return. RFK Stadium, the Cosmos on top of Washington, one to nothing. Yassin took that long free kick from the left sideline by Horvath. A tour at goal by the Cosmos within the first 10 minutes of the game has given him the lead. Now here's Carlos Alberto with the ball. Jim Carvelis, Seamus Mallon, Werner Roth. Hope you're enjoying today's second game of the season for the Cosmos. They're 1-0. 
after the 2 1 win in San Diego last weekend. And Washington comes in here 2 0. It's a battle that's extremely important because these clubs are in the same division. Now here's Stewart with O'Hara. The cross in front, cleared by Jim Steele. And now here's Ricky Davis. And the loose ball, Alberto won it. But it's Washington with it. The test pitch coming up the right side. Davis comes to pick him up. Alberto was on the offense. Now we'll have to hustle to get back. The test pitch with Ricky Davis. And now to Bobby Arushi, whose shot goes past the far post, intending it for Green. That's where they miss Cannell. Those are the kind of goals Cannell scores on that far post on the long ball. Right now, it belongs to Reisenberg Cosmos. A lead pass for Beckenbauer is too far. Dreggy got there first. Back to Irwin. The game's opening up quite a bit now, as you see. Uh, Washington's putting a lot of pressure or trying to put more pressure on, on the uh, Cosmos midfield and trying to get more of an attack going here. Well, the goal did that, I think, Seamus. Uh, when you play the Cosmos, I think the theory is always let's keep it tight for 20, 25 minutes, maybe even a half. Let's stay in the game, and then maybe we get them later on. But when the Cosmos scored first, I think Gordon Bradley said, OK, let's let's get going. That could work both ways. It could be good for Washington. It could be bad for Washington if they open it up too much and leave some holes. I, I think the problem is, uh, Jim, that they're really not clamping down the midfield. They're trying hard, but they're not able to do it yet. Of course, the Cosmos having four people across that midfield area, but they're going to have chances are they're going to get control there. Jimmy Steele, a good play. Washington attacking again. Bobby Stokes in the box for Green, lays it back for the Teskets. Nice try. That's good soccer right there. Very nice ball by Stokes back, uh, header back into the, into the flow of the play. By Washington, nice play by Reisenberg. Reisenberg, nice play. Cosmos trying to get out. Stolen from Franz by Green, check it by Steele, a deflection goes over the goal line. We're going to have the first corner kick for Washington, and the diplomats are hot now. That youngster right there you see is, is Sonny Askew, a young man from Baltimore, Maryland. And the diplomats like him for the future. In front, Alberto heads it high, but not out. Headed by Bogey, off Sanino, and Washington, very aggressive, stays with the ball. This is Askew. Sonny Askew with the ball. Back to the test catch. Washington playing some good stuff here now. Here's Jimmy Steele, the captain. Steele outside the box, and he rolls it through. Eskandarian was there, and Yasin got it. Cosmos uh, would like to acknowledge a lot of people, and we will as we go along here. Right now, let's just stay with the action for a moment. There's Alberto with the save. Good thing he got his foot into that, or Bobby Stokes would have been in on goal. Cosmos uh, sometimes very casual when they're clearing the ball out of their own zone. Yeah, I think we have uh, one problem after we score goals, and I think we saw it somewhat last week in San Diego, is that we sometimes get a bit lackadaisical. We've got one goal, the other team puts on a pressure, and often we don't retaliate with as much pressure. All right, knocked out of bounds by Washington's O'Hara. It'll be a long throw now to Sanino. That's a good throw. Sanino now working on the right wing. Plays it back for Bogey. Cosmos trying to build it. And Beckenbauer's pass is knocked down by Steele, who's been outstanding in the first 15 minutes of this game. Viteskic with the ball. Now, yeah, Rushi's long ball is too long. Reisenberg clears it, and it looks over the near sideline. Yarusi throwing in to the test pitch. one nothing the Cosmos on top. 29-14 to play first half. Saki Viteskic played with the Cosmos. Uh, check it, played last year for the Diplomats, his first year. Had a good season. A good all-around soccer player. And Beckenbauer has knocked it over the near sideline at the 35-yard line. Throw in Washington. Remember that home opener for the Cosmos will be on the 22nd of April against Fort Lauderdale. Look out, shot over the goal line. Tickets for all Cosmos home games can be purchased at all 210 branches of the Manufacturers Hanover Trust Company in New York and in New Jersey at Fidelity Union Trust Company offices. Tickets are also available at Ticketron through Charge It 
at the Cosmos Ticket Office 75 Rockefeller Plaza and at Giant Stadium Gate A. Cosmos and Lauderdale. Lauderdale got a goal from Kubias. They won the last time. And that's going to be a good ball game. 22nd of April. Next week, the Cosmos are in Atlanta. We'll have that for you on television next Saturday. Right now, it's Washington trying to build, and the Cosmos picking it off. Beckenbauer to bogey, couldn't control it, had it knocked away, stolen, and now Reisenberg tips it back to Alberta. 1 0 Cosmos, 27 57 to play in the first half. And the battle of the corporate giants out here Warner Communications, Cosmos, Gulf and Western, the diplomats. All right, running with the ball. Good ball to Reisenberg from Davis. Reisenberg trying to play it through off the heels of Garvin. Cleared by Washington. And Bogey trying for the intercept, but it's Yarushi. A nice return to the test catch who's got a lot of space. Beckenbauer coming to pick him up. Washington attacking. In the box, attending it for Stokes. Broken up by Eskandarian. Cleared off the head of Beckenbauer. And now it's Denny Tuart. Tuart intending it for Davis. And there you see O'Hare, the fullback, coming up to intercept. And a good play by Sanino, who likes to come back and play defense. Well, he's got to come back when his man, that is his opposing fullback, uh, comes up to overlap. You cannot, as a winger, allow your own fullback to have a free run up the field. You've got to go up and close him down. And uh, Sanino got there a little late, but got there and stole it away. Escondarian got it back to Denny Tour. He changes it over to Kinaya on the left wing. Now it's Giorgio and Mike Dillon. Kinaya with the ball. He gets it back here for Ricky Davis outside the Cosmo 35. They play it to Bogey. Green is coming up on Bogey. Bogey lets the ball go for Eskandarian. And it's going to be a foul on Eskandarian. Eskandarian running over O'Hara. I think that was Sinino, uh Check it. You're right. It was Sinino on the right wing, not Eskandarian. 26-25 to play. First half here in Washington. And the Diplomats trail the Cosmos 1-0. All right, with the ball, it's Alberto to Beckenbauer. Franz with his own 35, back to Davis. And you see Washington putting a lot of pressure on. As a result, the ball deflected back to Yassine. From Washington, Cosmos won. The Diplomats nothing. We'll be back after these messages. At RFK Stadium, the Cosmos still up 1-0. Washington with the ball. Time remaining, 24-48 to play in the first half. Jim Carvella, Seamus, Mallon, Warner, Roth. Jameis and Cosmos have been hard pressed here in the first in the, in the first 20 minutes of the game. Well, they have a bit because, as, as Werner said, they're playing with three defenders at the back. Uh, and even though Beckenbauer is listed as a defender, of course, he's not playing there at all. He's playing in the middle of the park. And they, they do get under some pressure when uh, the Washington team sends a, a couple of extra players forward from midfield. At that time, it was the Cosmos making the defensive play with Seninho. Now they get the ball to Franz at his own 35-yard line. It's a cool day. It's crisp. But that, that'll help. It's like Washington that's doing a lot of work. The Tesca, it's just hit Bogicevic. And now they call a foul on tour it, following Greggy. Again, with all the effort, Warner, that the Washington is putting forward, it's usually 90 degrees here in the summertime. And uh, that'll be to their advantage. Yeah, true, Jim. Uh, we always like to play better in weather like this. All right, Sonny Askew against another fine American, Ricky Davis. And now Stokes gets it to the test catch. He likes to attack from that midfield. Saki, now it's headed away by the Cosmos, but it's not out of the box. There's a wheeling shot that's deflected. Horvath is in the box here, battling with Bogey for the ball. And Bogey won the battle. Fans saw Bogey foul. Here comes Reisenberg. Reisenberg and the Cosmos on a counterattack. Beckenbauer with room. Kinaya running on the angle. Pass intended for Tour is picked off, but then he's got it back. And now it's Garbutt with it. Over to France at the 35. Horvath coming from behind. France gets rid of it to Sanino on the right wing. I guess O'Hara. Sanino, tricky winger. Turned him around. Sanino in the box, still with the ball. Gets it to Denny Tour. Chest it. Got it back. Shot over the top by Kinaya. What a what play by Tour. Tour just flipped the ball back over the top of his head. I can't believe it. Well, he had a tough pass, came right to him in the chest. Here you see, and he wants to get it down for a shot, and he flicks it off the defender, off Yerushi, I guess, and Giorgio neatly steps in and tries to volley it in. But that's a very hard shot to complete, that volley turning towards the goal. Riesenberg wins it in the air. 
You know, Green's only about 5'5", five, five, but for a little guy, he's got great timing. He's not bad in the air. Riesenberg beat him that time. Riesenberg, 5'11". Jim Steele knocked Riesenberg down. Jim Steele at times looks like he's auditioning for the Redskins. <laughs> Sometimes, Jim, you know, it's, e it's easier playing against the big guys than it is against the little guys. All right, there's a ball for Kinalia. Giorgio in the box, and his double team and Dreggy broke it up along with Dillon. And now here's Washington trying to come the other way. Terry Garbutt playing the ball. Now the long lead, not a good pass at all. Harmlessly in the box for Yassine. Well, if Jim Steele is going to pick on uh, on Riesenberg to, to take out his frustrations, he's picking on the wrong guy. This is one of the hardest players in Europe. And uh, he's also got uh, very good self-control and patience, and he's not about to lose his cool out here. Steele just knocked down bogey, and no foul. All right, here's Washington now. Taskew in the box. And it went over the goal line. Over the goal line, it'll be a goal kick coming up for the Cosmos, leading 1-0 on a Dennis Tour goal with time remaining 21-15 in the first half. Bogey, boy, they really jumped on bogey. Bogey, bad pass. Riesenberg, and it was deflected. And Alberto, nicely, nice and easy, always. Cosmos with bogey. You've noticed Riesenberg in the last few plays, he's, uh, he's not only covering his own man, but very perceptively uh, covers for uh, Terry Garbutt and a lot of the other midfield players in breaking up plays. Here's Sanino. Sanino broke it up. Washington has attacked more, but the Cosmos, when they've attacked, have been dangerous a lot of times. And once they converted, now they've called a foul on Sinino, fouling Horvath over there. Sinino continues to be a very dangerous player in the one-on-one -on -one situation with pace. Where he runs into a little difficulty, it seems to me, is that when he gets into traffic, even when they're in front of him, uh, I think he may have a hard time spotting the few players. And it is hard to spot him near the box, where there's a lot of pressure on you. But uh, I think that's an aspect of his game that uh, he could work on a bit. Right, Bobby Arushi to Don Dreggy. Here's Dreggy again. I told you, they got him from Rochester with Horvath. They got two pretty good players, Warner Roth, Very from good that players. Rochester club. Now it's Washington in the middle of the park, and Dreggy, who's the center back, Gets it over to Jimmy Steele. Jimmy Steele coming forward now to the 35. He's got a lot of skill for a big man. He's big and tough, and he likes to hit people, but he can play soccer as well. Garbutt. And there is Steele by Jimmy Steele to the goal line. Alberto's broken it up at a corner kick. Carlos Alberto saved the day, but again, you see Jimmy Steele. Steal with bogey, and the Cosmos break it up. And a nice pass sends Ricky Davis running. Over to Sanino to the midfield, and now the Cosmos who love the counterattacker moving that way. It's Sanino over on the right side. That's Giorgio with the ball. Giorgio looking to take on O'Hara. Giorgio's pass is deflected in front. Giorgio couldn't pick it back off again. So Kinalia has the right wing that time, trying to cross it in front. Eskandarian's moving forward now. This is Garbutt with the ball. Play it back to Bogey. Not a bad crowd. I thought they'd get more. Long for Ricky Davis, too long. Over the goal line with 18.30 to play in the first half, and the Cosmos on top, one nothing. Well, this looks like it might be about 18, 19,000, maybe. of this franchise was against the Cosmos. Warner Roth played in that game in 1975. It was Pelé's first trip in here as a member of the Cosmos, and they blitzed Washington 9-2. Beautiful day to remember. It wasn't so beautiful for me because it was uh, I was a part owner of the Washington club that day, and it wasn't fashionable to brag about. I'm lucky, Jim. All right, Bogey with the ball. Nice play by Bogey and out of Semino. The Cosmos coming forward now to Giorgio. Giorgio trying to play it back, but Beckenbauer was going forward. Yeah, I'm sure that uh, Franz called for that ball, and uh, when, when Giorgio heard the call, he, obviously Franz was behind him, but then he moved past him, and, uh, and the pass, unfortunately, didn't reach him. 
All right, this is Dreggy coming forward. Now the Cosmos were caught up field, but Ricky Davis makes a defensive play. Washington should still have the ball. That's O'Hara. Sinino coming back to play his opposite number. Now in the box, nobody there but Yassine, and out of Beckenbar. Ricky Davis has an important task today. Uh, if you noticed, uh, several times he's been matched up against Sonny Askew. And that's because Sonny Askew, although listed as a forward, in fact has been withdrawn to midfield. And, and as Werner said, Washington is playing a 4-4-2. Uh, now it's important for Ricky in that situation always to keep track of where Askew is because he'll come back and forward and he cannot allow Askew to ghost in behind him and create a chance from the far side. Which is exactly what Gordon Bradley is looking for. That's right. All right, Ricky Davis with the ball now. Here's Ricky against Askew. Nice ball by Davis on the right side for Garvin. Garvin rolls it to Sanino along the right sideline. Tackled away, Sanino still with it. Beats another man. And now as it knocked over the sideline by Vitesca to Washington with 16 28 to play in the first half. And the Cosmos on top one to nothing. Cosmos soccer on WOR. Hope you're enjoying it. Really looking forward to having you all year long. And the Cosmos trying to win their third consecutive NASL championship. But I'll tell you, it's not going to be easy. A lot of the clubs in this league have really improved. Davis knocked away by Askew. Ricky with it again. Ricky Davis and Sonny Askew. And now Ricky playing it back for Alberto. Carlos back to Franz. Franz to Bogey. Bogey being kicked. Referee. Not calling anything. Not a bogey. Bad pass. Bad pass by bogey. Washington with the ball now. Now they're trying a counterattack. This is Bobby Stokes with it. Garvin comes over to pick him up. Bobby Stokes looking now. Now high along the box. Knocked away. Green shot rolls to Yassine. Roll to Yassine. As Ricky Green, or uh, Green, it was a dangerous little score. He really didn't get all of that. It was a tough angle for him as well. Beckenbauer has it tackled away, but Kinalia has a loose ball. The Cosmos come on the attack. Zanino, who can really turn you around. Good pass to Giorgio. Giorgio now in the box for Denny Tuart. Tuart with Mike Dillon. That's the battle here. Tuart, Dillon made the play. And Tuart was looking for a handball. Youngsters, you can be a Cosmos ball person this season at Giant Stadium. Pick up your entry blank at the Progresso display at your favorite supermarket. Cosmos at top, 1-0. 14-37 to play in the first half. A Dennis Tuart goal on a pass from Franz Beckenbauer. Here is Franz with the ball. And Iskandaria to Bogey. Along the right side for Terry Garvin. Garvin around his man. Horvath. Now to Bogey. Bogey trying to get it back to Garvin, but Dreggy, a big, strong defender, made the play. Now broken up by Bogey. Over the sideline belongs to the Diplomats. Diplomats beat Lauderdale 2 to 1 in overtime in the first game. They skunked Atlanta last week 5 to 1. So in effect, they lead the division. This is for first place. That's true, and this, this game becomes uh, twice as important because they are in our division, and the nine points that we're able to take home today uh, turns to 18 points. From Washington, the Diplomats trail the Cosmos 1-0, and we'll be back after these messages. Time remaining, 12-20 in the first half, and the Cosmos on top of Washington, 1-0. Ricky Davis with the ball. And out of France, Beckenbauer. Eisenberg knocked away by Dreggy. It'll stay in the field. Ricky Davis lobs it to Carlos Alberto. And now to Garbutt. Zanino nicely. Good work for the Cosmos. Garbutt. Franz Beckenbauer. Davis has space. Ricky Davis to the 35. Viteskic coming over. Viteskic stole the ball. Out of Green, Alan Green. Out of Stokes and out of Sonny Askew. Washington playing well. They trail 1-0 with 11.27 to play in the first half, Seamus. 
Yeah, they are playing well now. They're getting a lot more possession in the middle of the field, and they're looking for players. They're not aimlessly booting it up the park. They're uh, they're playing quite intelligently. All right, Alberto with them now on the defense. High arcing ball, easy for Yasu. Except for that, that's not a very intelligent play. As I was talking to Gordon before the game, and the one thing that concerns him about his attack is the lack of height in front of goal. He really doesn't have any tall players, so it doesn't do much good to float those uh, high balls across. Hi, right, Beckenbauer. Cosmos also have to keep in mind that they're not playing on AstroTurf, and a lot of times they've rolled some balls that I think on AstroTurf would have been good passes, but here with the grass a little long, it's slowing it up. Now Davis is free on the left side. Looking in the box for Giorgio, Irwin comes out, punches it away. And the Cosmos will have a throw in. Irwin punched it away rather than grab it. Surprised me a little bit, Warner. Yeah, and uh, also uh, they had a bit of a misunderstanding there between Irwin and Mike Dillon in the back. All right, here's Bogey for Giorgio Quinalia in front and a collision. Almost a handball there. The goalkeeper, Irwin, got out of the Arushi, was on him. Looks like they've recovered a fumble. Nice touch on there by Bogey. You see a half chance for Giorgio marked by two players, and he almost gets to it. It almost looked as though the fullback handled the ball there. Yeah, that's what I meant. That, that was uh, Iarushi. All right, with the ball. This is Franz. Cosmos coming again. This is Garbutt. Time remaining, 9.49 in the first half. Getting two to the right sideline now. Two are working. The game's only goal score. It's the Cosmos controlling again with Bogey. In Washington zone now, Bogey to the 35. They give him a little room this time. And out of tour. Washington packing it in now. There's a chip coming in the box for Bogey, and Irwin got there, and good defensive play as a fullback screen Bogey away. It's a tough play for Bogey. I think in a situation like that, we were reminded a little bit of the San Diego game where the Cosmos need to go a little bit wider for a change and spread that defense out. I Viteska, it's knocked away by Ricky Davis. Bobby Arushi with the ball. Green off his toe that passed just a little long for Alan Green. Washington is building fine. They're getting it low, but they're not really making that great last pass or that connection, luckily for the Cosmos, Warner. Yeah, they're, they're trying it, though. They're trying all those uh, the, uh, the good passes into space, but what's happening is the good coverage by the Cosmos defenders are either cutting off the passes or if they're not cutting them off, the passes are going a bit too long, just not giving the, the Washington forwards that opportunity to get the shot off. Alberto back to Eskandarian. Eskandarian flipped it over the head of Alan Green. And this is Riesenberg with a little bit of room. And out of Ricky Davis. Back to Riesenberg. Now to Denny Tuart. Nice ball. Back to Ricky Davis on the left wing inside the 35. Davis a good return ball for Garbett outside the box. Garbett looking in the box. Back to Ricky Davis. Bogey's in there. So is Giorgio. Now a high ball, not really a very good ball, but Kinalia made it good as he played it to Sinino. Now to Bogey and the header on goal. So the Cosmos worked at that time, and Bogey had a pretty good shot on goal. Okay, here is the here is the cross, a nice ball across, and up goes Bogey. Really, I think Bogey's the best uh, offensive header of the ball we had that there is uh, in the Cosmos club, but he just didn't quite get it uh, wide enough. But that was a good 12-yard head shot. That's Zanino coming back to knock it away. Jimmy Steele got his foot on the ball again, but the Cosmos control. Now here's Trey Garbett with 7.25 to play in the half. The Cosmos up 1-0. Zanino, great one-on-one -on -one player. Beckenbauer to Garbett, plays it back for Carlos Alberto, who's thinking offense. Carlo. Now he plays it back for Franz. Now to Carlos. Tackled away, but back to France. And now a bad pass and almost a handball there by Sonny Askew, and it's back to Irwin. You notice it's been uh, the pace of the game has been changed by the Cosmos. We've been we've been playing very quickly at times, attacking, getting the ball into space, and then at other times when it's right, we've been slowing the game down, setting up, setting ourselves up, which is uh, is a very good uh, aspect of our game so far. All right, Cosmos now moving forward. Beckenbauer at the midfield line. Bronze to Georgie. Kinaya being marked by Dillon. And taken away by former friend and teammate Bobby Arushi. 
at the press conference in New York last week, Ricebergen was asked how his name should be pronounced. He said Rice, R-I-C-E, Ricebergen. All right, Jimmy Steele in the middle of the field. Steele around Beckenbar. Jimmy Steele to the Cosmo 35. Steele in the box, headed away by Bogey to Franz de Bogey. Time remaining, six minutes in the first half. The Cosmos on top, one nothing and attacking with Ricky Davis. Out of Beckenbar. And now it's Eskandarian moving up. He gets it back from Bogey. Eskandarian. Eskandarian to the line. Crosses in front, tackled out of bounds. It'll be corner kick. It should be corner kick Cosmos. Good play made by Dylan and Escondiri made a fine run that time, Warner. That was a very good play by Eski and an exceptional defensive play by Mike Dillon. Mike Dillon seeing Eski getting past the defender, coming in behind his fullback and cutting off the cross. By Cosmos scored their only goal this way the last time off a corner kick. Beckenbauer. Now plays it to Garvin. 5.15 to play. Now they play it further outside the 35 to Alberto. And his pass is knocked down by Horvath. Horvath made the play. Long lead in the box. Green. Now the shot went wide. The shot went wide. The referee missed the offside call that the linesman saw on that play. Reese Bergen playing green. Letting him run, letting him run into offside position. The linesman waved his flag, and the ref didn't see it, and it almost came close to a goal here. And now a trip as Horvath tripped Terry Garvin. And Garvin is mad. He's got a few words, and he's not about to be uh, patted on the face. Go get him, Terry. Well, the tip's a little bit upset because it appeared uh, that Ricebergen did trip up uh, Green after he had flicked the ball to his left in the penalty area. I don't know if it was deliberate or if he just went over uh, Ricebergen's outstretched foot, but that's, I think, what upset him so much. All right, Cosmos on top, 1-0. We have 4 11 to play unofficially in the first half. Ricky Davis to Bogey, play it back to Franz. He chips it over to Ricebergen. So the close Washington marking is giving the Cosmos trouble, but they're on top, 1-0. Ricebergen at his own 35. Ricebergen, bogey, nice ball. Garvin plays it back to Denny Tuart in the midfield. Here comes Tuart, right by Horvath. Tuart playing it in the box. It was hit from behind, and Irwin with the ball. That's not a bad run for Denny to try. He's used to going outside a lot, and uh, why not try, uh, try something else for a change? Now, this will be an interesting call here. Ricebergen doing a number on Alan Green. Remember what I told you about playing those little guys? It's always hard. That's right. If it was a bigger guy, it would have been easier, but he got caught underneath. Well, some referees might have uh, given Ricebergen the benefit of the doubt there. He did lean over pretty heavily, but you're not quite sure if Green was just giving him a uh, bending over. And... All right, now in the box. Sanino could not clear it. Could not clear it again, although he got a foot on it. And it's Greggy with the ball, and he has a tackle over the near sideline by Sanino. Now, Canal, I believe, is suited up. Now, he could be in this game in the second half if Washington uh, should need him. Nice play by Garvin, headed away from Steele. Washington attacking goes right by two diplomat players lucky for the Cosmos there with 224 here's uh, Bobby Arushi attacking Bobby centers in front but it's cleared nicely by Bogey out here to Dreggy Washington applying pressure with 213 in the box and it's Beckenbauer to break it up and now Franz coming out he's got two to the right canal ahead of him and it's broken up by Horvath but Garvin with a loose ball Terry Garvin now is tackled by Horvath, knocks it over the far sideline. It'll be a throw in for the Cosmos. There should be some more opportunities. No, no substitutes yet. Jimmy Steele coming through. Good ball by Steele on the right for Askew. Didn't control it very well. Did not trap the ball very well at all and lost it. Playing the ball back, and it's Yassine with it. 
So Washington uh, winter off appears just as intense as they were in the first half, and uh, we'll see how the Cosmos play it. Let's see if the Cosmos have a little more urgency. Well, I'm sure uh, Gordon is uh, has told his team exactly what he wants done out there. I'm sure what they're going to look for is a lot more movement up front, movement like this. All right, Team Now Your Heart shot and a goal! What a great what goal! What a tremendous goal by Team Now Your! And Owen never saw it! That's one of the greatest goals I've ever seen! And look at the way Giorgio set it up. Uh, it was a a great piece of work by him running. He came back. Now watch Georgia come into the screen on the right. He comes back into space, then accelerates the other way, past the defender, and just slams it into the net. A beautiful shot by Giorgio, and I think this is the kind of movement that you'd, that Gordon would have wanted from his Washington players, and instead uh, Eddie got it from his Cosmo players. Beautiful. Gentlemen, I, somebody out there listening might say, what do you mean one of the greatest you've ever seen? I'll tell you, I've seen a little bit of soccer in the last 10 years. That's one of the greatest goals I've ever seen. I mean, he really hit that shot. There's a high cross that goes over the goal line. And it looked like he had top spin. And I think also, gentlemen, the element of surprise was there. I don't think Irwin expected him to hit the shot at goal from that position. I think you're right, Jim. And I think this is one of the uh, advantages that uh, a player like Giorgio has over others. Oh. And a bad clearance. Bad clearance by New York, and there you see a goal, a mistake, and it's a new game. It's two to one now. So the Cosmos making a stake in the box, and Alan Green scored it. A uh, very, very poor goal kick here, intercepted by Green, and he's in alone and puts it away in the corner before Yasin even has a chance to get back to the goal. It, uh, it's one of those nightmare kinds of oppor opportunities you give to the other team. That's a that's a shame after an absolute textbook goal a, a minute before that uh, to give the advantage uh, to give them a partial advantage again is a just right, something that uh, would make any coach turn gray. All right, it's two to one to Cosmos. We had one goal in the first half, and now we get two goals uh, in about five minutes of the second half. Here's Garvin with the ball now. Viteska is playing him. Terry Garvin shielding it well. Plays it back for Bogey. Bogey to Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer to Tuart. Tuart knocked away by Viteskic. Cosmos retain. Here's Garbett. 2-1 to Cosmos. Kinaya and Green have scored here in the first five minutes of the second half. Actually, the first four minutes. Bobby Stokes, a nice ball on the right. And then the Diplomats attacking again. Escondarian playing defense on Askew. They play it back. Now the cross in front. Header. No! Can you believe it? Alan Green, and the game is tied. Unbelievable. That's an incredible goal. We talked earlier about how weak they were in the air, but this ball was not floated too high. It was floated on a kind of a line drive cross. It went right through the Cosmos defense to one unmarked player, Green, and there he is with a perfect header into the corner. Unbelievable. Now, the first goal was the result of a bad Cosmos clearance, but that was a beautiful goal by Alan Green. And what set it up was that long ball along the right wing and the great cross, and I told you in the first half that Green is small, but he's good in the air. Now the Cosmos have been tied 2-2. And here comes Washington, and now this crowd is really alive. The Diplomats, with renewed enthusiasm, Bokey broke it up. Escondarian with the ball. 2-2 soccer game. And the ball tackled out of bounds by Washington, the Cosmos throw in. On opening day, Sunday, April 22, against the Lauderdale Strikers, the first 15,000 youngsters will be given free official Cosmos flags, compliments of Cobra sporting equipment. And now an offside, or a foul, called against the Cosmos. Now, by the way, these pennants are the new Cosmos colors, blue and uh, yellow. So be there early to get your Cosmos flags, the first 15,000 youngsters. We have 39.05 to play in a game, and it's a 2-2 game. We've had three goals scored in about the last five minutes. Incredible. Two by Washington. Now trying to chip it over the wall, but Bogey's made the play to Giorgio, who could not control it. 
And it's O'Hara up on the attack for Washington. O'Hara in the box. And it's Alberto allowing it to go over the goal line for the goal kick. The momentum uh, seems to have unfortunately changed here in the early part of the second half with uh, right after that uh, unfortunate defensive mistake. Kinaya uh, has it broken up by Jim Steele. Steele back healing it to Mike Dillon. I'll tell you, we got a game here, 2-2. Two 38-18 to, two. to play in regulation. Uh, three goals in the space of two minutes and 41 seconds. Pretty amazing in soccer. Uh, but if it is going to happen, it often happens around intervals, either just uh, coming up to an interval or uh, just after an interval. All right, Bobby Stokes knocked down the Cosmos defender, and Stokes has called for the foul. The linesman made the call, and now he's having a few words for Bobby Stokes. Alberto with a free kick. Beautiful. The bogey had it knocked away by Greggy, and they call dangerous play on, on bogey. Green didn't do very well with that one. Did not trap it well. Beckenbauer to bogey outside the Cosmo 35. It's a 2-2 game. And here comes Alberto, sending Beckenbauer running. Bronze for Tuart. But Steele is there to make the play. And back to Irwin. And it's Washington the other way. 37-13 to play in the game. It's 2-2. Two goals by Alan Green within the space of a minute or so. And the Cosmos got a goal in the first half from Tuart. And a great goal by Kenaya to start the second half that had given him what seemed to be a fairly safe 2-0 lead until Mr. Green came through. Now Dreggy making the play to Horvath. Horvath of Washington in the red uniforms. A long ball up here that Alberto has knocked away from Bobby Stokes. All right, it'll be a Washington throw in now as they attack the Cosmos. Picked off by Garvin. And out of bogey. Cosmos looking for a way out. To Giorgio, who's come back to his own 35. The give and go is broken up by O'Hara. Now the pass. Here's Green shot over the goal. From Washington, D.C., the Cosmos to the Washington Diplomats to and will It's still 2-2 soccer game. The Cosmos and Washington. Here come the Diplomats again. Horvath. Playing it back to Jimmy Steele at the 35-yard line. Steele now chips it toward Yassin and right to Yassin. The Cosmos would like to acknowledge the continued support of Joe Manfredi and safe auto sales and also to the Princess Hotels. The Cosmos fell in love with the Princess, the Bahamas Princess Hotel, the official training site of the Cosmos soccer team and also to Admiral Sportswear, the official uniform supplier of the Cosmos. Irwin comes out ahead of Kinaya, who was screened by Dreggy, and time remaining 34-15 in the game. So the Cosmos saw a 2-0 lead disappear in a minute as Alan Green scored two quick goals, and you see Greeny knocked down by Riceberg in there. We saw Riceberg covering very tightly, and I think it wasn't a matter of fouling or wanting to foul Green, but just the fact that he was going for the ball and uh, Green was in his way. Riceberg and not Green down again, this time legally. Kinalia playing it for Tuart, but O'Hara came back to make the play. You know, Seamus, O'Hara's not a bad-looking fullback. No, he's got some good speed, and uh, I'm surprised that uh, he does have as much pace as he would. I, I didn't think he was that quick. Of course, Dennis, we've got to remember, Dennis is really not in full uh, shape yet. Really, this is only the second game he's played uh, in some time. All right, Tour with the ball on the right side. He scored the first goal of the game, eight minutes in. Tour now coming in the box, beats his man, gets it over the left side. Too many men to beat that time. Alan Green with Ricebergen. Ricebergen expected him to do that, so he was in position. Alberto. Green is in on goal. Alan Green and a great play by Eskandarian and a clear by Davis. Eskandarian made a great play that time to deny Green. 
tremendous play as Green was in on goal. That was dangerous. A very uncharacteristic error by Carlos Alberto there to make a back pass like that that was way short. I think we're finding out that the grass is a lot different than the AstroTurf yes. back at home, and it's holding up the ball quite a bit. We'd have to adjust for that. And Washington plays all their home games here, so they, they adjust to it. Kinaya could not save it. Giorgio thought he'd saved it before it went over the sideline, and uh, the referee said no. That's a hard ball to get. It's just a little bit beyond his range, and from this angle, it's a little difficult to say where, whether it was all the way all over the line. But yeah, we have uh, a bad angle on it. The linesman is right beside it. All right, Jimmy Steele with the ball with 32 minutes to play in the game. Washington has come back to tie the Cosmos at 2 2. And almost made it 3 2 moments ago, and Escondarian made a great defensive play. Sanino is ridden off the ball and fouled by Bobby Yarushi. I think you're seeing the Washington dips. They're covering much tighter now in the back than they have. After they tied the game up, they've, uh, they've really closed up in the back, and they're trying a lot of different things in the forward line. They're playing uh, like a totally different team here. Kinaya got away from Drake to Beckenbauer at the 35. Bronze looking for the open man. It's Sininho going with the Arushi, the cross to the far post, but no one was there. And now here's Stewart. Denny Stewart playing it back, and it's intercepted by Horvath. And out of O'Hara. Alan Green with Reisbergen. He got rid of it on the left to Horvath. They've got the diplomats attacking. In front, knocked down by Alberto over the goal line. So it'll be corner kick Washington. And now this has turned into a pretty entertaining soccer game. Well, Askew, Sonny Askew was all alone on the far side of the goal there. If uh, Horvath could only have gotten over, gotten that one over to him, I think it would have been real trouble. Here's the cross, and Yassine saw it perfectly, made the play, rolls it to Franz. Franz, and it's knocked down by Viteskic. For Askew, Sanino comes right back to make the play. Alberto to Bogey. Bogey to Franz. Here come the Cosmos back to Bogey. For the midfield line, a lead pass for Giorgio. He now you hit on goal, and it just went wide. Deflected off Irwin. And he now you caught it in the face. Cosmos are going to. And now you caught that in the face in Washington. It's a 2-2 game, and we'll return. Washington 2, the Cosmos 2. We have 28-45 to play in the game. Jim Carvello, Seamus Mellon, Warner Roth. And the Cosmos trying to get the go-ahead goal here. There's Reisbergen. Dylan made the play on Kinaya. Bobby Stokes heads it nicely over here. For Jimmy Steele. Garvey coming back trying to get catch up to Steele. He does. Steele lobs it over the goal. Lobs it over the goal. And, you know, we were talking about this tight marking earlier by the Washington team. You know, there's only so much of this you can do. You cannot really man mark uh, all over the f field or put pressure on uh, midfielders all day long just because it's, it's physically uh, exhausting. Uh, so just in the last few minutes, we've, we've begun to see the Cosmos have a bit more space in which to play. And if that happens in the middle of the uh, middle of the park, uh, then I think Washington could be in for some problems. But it really comes down to execution. If the Cosmos can execute these chances, uh, then they can use the space they're being given in the middle. Kinaya, nice ball back to Reisbergen. Reisbergen to Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer finds Garbutt, who's got about 10 yards. Here's Steele to play him. All right, Garbutt now back to Franz. And out of Carlos Alberto. Carlos to Denny Tuart. Now chips it back for Alberto. Heads it high in the air. Shot just went wide. Just went wide as Kinaya and Alberto were on the attack winner. I think you noticed just what Seamus was saying before about the, uh, the space given in midfield where Carlos had the chance to go up and get involved in the attack. And here it almost resulted in a goal. And that time Alberto ventured right up the field. Ricky Davis. Franz to Garbutt. Brought it down nicely to Franz. Franz to Bogey. Bogey's pass deflected. Anyone's ball. 
And who's got the ball? Kinadia brought down, and they're going to call a foul, I believe, against Washington. Yarushi is down, holding his knee. Kinadia was fouled just outside the box, just outside the box. All right, Cosmos are going to have a free kick coming up here. The next Cosmos telecast will be Saturday, April the 14th, when the Cosmos play the Atlanta Chiefs. The game will start at 8 o'clock. Tune in to Channel 9 for the Cosmos' first visit to Atlanta. And this is the old Colorado club, and of course, Joe Mosono, the ex Cosmo, will be there. Seems like every time we play someone, gentlemen, there's an ex Cosmos player there. And that ex Cosmo player usually has the best game of his uh, season again. <laughs> Bobby Arushi and next Cosmo was a man shaken up and he's all right. Now let's see who takes the free kick. Beckenbauer particularly good at these. Shot over the top. Beckenbauer tried to chip it over the wall, looked for the corner of the net, and it went over the top as you saw. Time remaining 26 21 in the game. The Cosmos to the diplomats, too. As we were winning this game, uh... One nothing. We saw a lot of our Cosmo uh, fans that came up from New Jersey and New York on about six buses across the field here cheering us on, but they've sort of quieted down in the second half. I'd like to see him get a little more vocal here. Alberto, not a Ricky Davis. Davis got rid of it nicely to Bogey. Bogey to Sanino on the left wing, taking on Iarushi. Sanino along the box for Tuart. He dummied the ball. Dreggy picked up by Sanino. It's still in the box. And boy, I'll tell you, Dylan really levels Sanino in the box. Washington trying to clear it. They get it to midfield, and now they come up with Viteskic. Good effort by Jimmy Steele. Get it over to his fullback, O'Hara, who's been venturing up the field a lot. Tuart. And O'Hara won the ball and easily into Yassine. Cosmos with Bogey. Bogey's really been in the game in the second half. They really marked him mostly in the first half, knocked him down a few times. Here's Sanino with the ball. Sanino, now I'll tell you what, Sanino is going to be called for the foul. They say it was Sanino that fouled the defensive man. I think he missed the first. Uh... The first hold by the defensive player and, and caught the retaliatory push, but that's often the way it goes in the game. You miss the first little one and catch the more obvious one. Long for Yasin, who caught it. Now, let me tell you something. Yasin is working in the shade, and Irwin, the Washington keeper, is working in the sun in the second half. And that's a tough sun for a goalkeeper or a defender, Warner, on balls in the air. Yeah, it might affect uh, affect the two uh, goalkeepers. Uh, I think Urban will probably walk away with a 10, and Yassine hopefully with a win. And Yassine doesn't need a 10. All right, Tuart on the right side. Nice play by Denny Tuart. In the box, and it's headed over the goal line by Don Dreggy. So uh, Cosmos get a corner kick, and let's see what they can do with this. That's a great pity because uh, Bogey had run into a wonderful position behind, uh, behind Giorgio in front of the goal. All right, Tour, and now the long cross for Bogey. Heads it high in the air. Garbage keeps it alive. Kinalia and Sanino. Back to Garbage. Shot deflected. Another corner kick. And the Cosmos were dangerous that time. I think that's the first time they've taken a corner and crossed it in front of the goal, Werner. Yeah, I think that was one of the first times where it's, uh, it's been a really effective corner kick here. Um, they've usually pushed it short to the corner of the box. All right, here's to the far post, but no one there. Bogey looking to chase it down. Bogey somehow crossed it, and O'Hare saves it by giving another corner kick away. Bogey did a good job to even cross the ball from that position. The midfielders are really putting pressure on now. You notice in the first half, Terry Garbett and Ricky Davis working very hard, uh, more defensively, but now this half, with the score as it is, uh, they're all moving up into the penalty area. Another corner kick for the Cosmos. It's Denny Tuart. They play it to the head of the box. Alberto, Giorgio, and Washington finally clears it. And a good clearing pass. This is Sonny Askew. Askew against Eskandarian. Eskandarian plays him. Askew plays it back a bit too far for Viteskic, who controls at his own 35, and now to Jimmy Steele. Beckenbauer to play Jimmy Steele. In the box, Weisbergen made the play on Alan Green. Weisbergen made the play on Green. Not a 
Beckenbauer. Fans didn't like that. Well, I think the referee is on the green a bit. Green has a tendency to hit the ground anytime anybody brushes by him. I think referee's not about to fall for that. And now they're going to call a foul on Tuart. And you know why Steele's mad? Because he felt they had the advantage there, and why blow a whistle? Well, he definitely did have the advantage. If he was going to call a foul on uh, on Denny, uh, he should have let that go because uh, he he really gave us the advantage by calling that ball back. All right, we're back to the live action. 21:50 to play in the game. Cosmos to Washington to. We said before the battle of the corporate giants, but also an interesting aspect. Sonny Werblin, who uh, who's in effect running this club for golf and Western Madison Square Garden. It's basically a New York guy. You know, there's a guy that signed Joe Namath and helped construct Giants Stadium. He was the brains behind it. And Sonny's always been considered a New York guy. And he's running the Washington Club. On the other hand, Ahmed Erdogan, who's running the Washington Club, went to school in nearby Landon School. Ahmed Erdogan went to Landon School, so he's got a lot of Washington roots as he lived here for many years. And of course, he uh, and his Warner brother, uh, group, one of communications group, Steve Ross, Jay Emmett, Nessui Erdogan are running the Cosmos. And these gentlemen are all great friends, and there's going to be a lot of needling going on. So this game is important for bragging rights in New York. Not only that, but also uh, they had great involvement with each other when the, when, uh, the Cosmos first went out to uh, the Meadowlands, a giant stadium. That's right, and Sonny was one of the big promoters of soccer and the Cosmos and helped get him to Giant Stadium. Marino is on the side, is uh, getting ready to come in the game for the Cosmos. There he is, Marino. He's going to come in for Terry Garbett. So the Cosmos did this. They've done this before. Now they're looking for more offense late in the game. They'll get more offense from Marino. Corner now to the head of the goal. Knocked away. Irwin made the play. He came out and knocked down his defender, but also punched the ball out. Here's Marinho, first time in the game. Now it's interesting because Terry had an exce he had a very good first half, uh, especially on the defensive end. And uh, as we've seen now with the game being tied 2-2, Eddie wants a bit more offense and uh, has gone and replaced Terry with Marinho. Jordan, a great cross. Nobody there. Zanino with the ball on the right. And O'Hara made the play. Marinho has it knocked away. Cosmo's ball. A lot of those high balls are just uh, heading towards Giorgio, but Giorgio gets double teamed. And if anybody, somebody uh, maybe like Zanino could slip in behind him and take advantage of that double teaming, he might be able to poach an easy goal. All right, the ball out the head of the box, and it's controlled by Jimmy Steele. Steele. Nice play, Reisenberg. Reisenberg. All right with the ball, it's Sinino with O'Hara. Far post looking for Tuart, headed toward goal, and the shot is knocked over the goal line. Shot knocked over the goal line, they're going to call goal kick from Washington. The score, Cosmos 2, the Diplomats 2. We're still tied here in Washington. The Cosmos with the ball, 2-2. Sanino made the defensive play again. Now to Bogey. Bogey, Sanino was in a little bit of space, but the play was made by Mike Dillon. Steal a dummy for O'Hara. Here's O'Hara to the midfield line. And Marino got in his way just enough for him to knock that over the near sideline. The Cosmos and the Soccer Camps of America are happy to sponsor the finest in soccer instruction this summer with their camps for boys and girls ages 7 to 18. For information on the Giorgio Quinalia Soccer Academy, the Warner Roth Soccer Safari, and the Pelé Soccer School, call 212 area code 265-7315. San Nino coming in the box, pushed off the ball, and they're going to call corner kick. They're going to call corner kick. now. Actually, Sanino hit the ball last, and the referee could have done one of two things. He could have called a foul on Washington or given the Cosmos a corner kick. He elected to give him a corner kick. Sometimes a real diplomatic. That's not in the rule book, but that's what happened. Yarushi hits it high in the air. Beckenbauer wins it in the air to Giorgio. 
knocked away, and Steele clears. <laughs> Reisbergen really leveled the green. That, that was no fake by Green. That was no fake, and now the official is going to give him a yellow card. Yeah, that's a, that was a. He was going for the ball by trying to reach around, uh, by trying to reach around Green, but uh, Green stepped into the ball, and, he, and Reisbergen really cracked him on the shin. Reisbergen, let's look at it again. Well, you must remember again that, especially in Northern European uh, style of time. Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale, the Cosmos opponent that day, won again today. They beat, to, they beat Toronto two to one. Two to one for Lauderdale against the Toronto Blizzard. I watch Washington now. Horvath crossing in front, headed out by Ricky Davis. Nice play by Ricky. The Arushi to Jimmy Steele, who shanked it. Beckenbauer. For Seninho. Seninho to Marinho. To Beckenbauer at the 35, leaves it for Marinho. He tried to chip it in the box to Giorgio, but he was under pressure, and the pass not a good one. And Irwin really kicks it. Escondarian made the play. And out of bogey. Bogey to Carlos Alberto with 15 25 to play in the game. To Franz Beckenbauer, the Cosmos in a 2-2 game with these tough diplomats of Washington. And Sanino didn't trap that very well. Throw in Washington. The pace of the game has slowed down a bit, as you can see, with uh, uh, the players uh, fatiguing somewhat. And it's really hard when you think about having to go full out for 90 minutes. So you can see that. In, uh, at this point of the second half, uh, the pace gets a little slower and the game a bit more deliberate. All right, Ricky Davis coming through now. Ricky Davis, a hard shot, and it's saved. That's a tricky shot. Kind of one hop, and it almost took Irwin by surprise. Well, also with this all-star team the Cosmos have, Davis is not the kind of player that a defender would expect to come from the middle of the field and get some shots off. They're marking the others so closely. Askew's pass to Green is broken up. Reisenberg made a great play. Alberto to clear the ball. Nothing fancy there. Carlos said, I'm just getting rid of it. Beckenbauer, beautiful ball here to Marinho. Cosmos the other way. Sanino on the sideline. Back to Marinho, who came in for Garbutt about five minutes ago. 14 minutes of play in the game. Looking for Giorgio. And it's Mike Dillon to break it up. Giorgio always seems to be drawing two defenders. Well, I think Giorgio did want that ball in his head with the hope of laying it off onto Sanino, but uh, the ball was played a bit too wide for him. And it's important uh, in using Giorgio that it be a, a varied service. It can't always be on the ground to him. Nice work by that fullback O'Hara. Eskandarian came over, and the cross was picked off by Yasin. Eskandarian's got outstanding speed. He really came back and picked up O'Hara, who was running free. Tourt with the Arushi picking him up in Tourt's own half. And Tourt, a bad pass. Reisbergen. I think Reisbergen's played an outstanding game today. Now, young players should watch uh, Beckenbauer at all times. And the wonderful thing about Beckenbauer is how easily he resists doing the, uh, you know, just taking the ball in the middle of the park and belting it up the middle. He, when he hits it up the middle, it really is intended to, for somebody uh, there. That, that one, unfortunately, well, that undermined happens, me. You know, <laughs> it always as happens. As soon as you say that, although Franz actually was looking for Tour to race I think he was. on the sideline. But and normally, uh, he will not uh, hit a ball up front unless it's really uh, the pass to make, and he just is very patient like that. I cannot hear with it now. Tour on his right. And here's Marinho. Sanino's free, and Marinho took the shot. Sanino was wide open along the right wing, and for some reason, Marinho took the shot from about 30 yards. Well, he was uh, quite effective with it last week in San Diego when he came in and started putting shots on goal from the corner of the 16. But as you saw there, that ball could have been uh, played uh, to a much greater advantage. That's, that's right. And most of the shots, actually, if you remember, Werner, last week were coming from the left side, which is, I think, where he's got a bit more power. High Washington now, kind of a slow build. 
Actually, Washington doesn't look as intense at this stage of the game as they looked earlier. And a goal here would weigh a ton, either club. Time remaining 11.50 in the game. Bogey putting it between the legs of Horvath. Horvath knocked it out of bounds. <laughs> Zanino and dangerous play against Washington. The Cosmos will have a free kick with 11 and a half minutes to play in the game. Dylan away from Kimalia. O'Hara, nice job clearing. Got a very nice job by Horvath, though, and Bogies picked it off. Now we're coming into the sun. In for Giorgio. Franz can't get to the ball, and Sonny Askew can. Eleven minutes to play in the game. Cosmos won their opener against San Diego in overtime. Hoping they don't have to go in overtime again. Bogey couldn't get the steal. Horvath got the ball. Marino got back to play him. Now it's Viteska to the left. Into the box, Yassine has got it. Earl Yassine picked it off for the Cosmos. 10.28 to play in the game. Pick up Beckenbauer and out of the 35 of Washington. Rons Beckenbauer, back to Marino. Chipping it for Giorgio. Let's see if he can control it. The Arushi, and Arushi made the play but knocked it over the sideline. Alberto to Bogey. Ten minutes to play in the game. Bogey to Franz, who was knocked down. Boy, Franz was leveled by Dreggy. Zanino in the box. Zanino outside the box now, looking to get it in again. O'Hara's on him. Here's the cross. Went right by Tuart. And there's Marino with great work. Great work by Marino to Bogey to Tuart. Back to Bogey. That was almost a great effort. See a lot of pressure being put on by the Cosmos now, and uh, what's happening? But it wasn't easy. Eight minutes and 13 seconds into the game, Franz Beckenbauer and Sanino set up uh, Dennis Stewart, and that made it one nothing. Two minutes into the second half, Giorgio Canalia with a long one. That makes it two nothing. But the dips, the Washington diplomats, tied, and a shootout came along. Sanino. Scored one for the Cosmos, and then Errol Yassin held on for the Cosmos. They had, uh, the Cosmos had scored two, and the Diplomats won in the shootout, so the Cosmos win it. The final score of the game, three to two. If the scoring in the North American Soccer League confuses you, you are not alone. Elsewhere in the NASL, Fort Lauderdale beat Toronto 2-1, Tulsa over Minnesota 3-1. We have no score yet on the San Diego-Portland game. When they play for Lauderdale, there's still time to get your season tickets, and there are many good seats available. To make your reservations for all the soccer action, call 212-265-8600, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Right now, business at hand in Washington. Cosmos 2, the Diplomats 2, with 817 to play in the game. And the Diplomats... Misplayed out of bounds. The Cosmos get it back with 8.08. Alberto to Marino. Kinaya to Tuart. Broken up again by Yarushi. And a bad pass by Viteska. It came over the near sideline. Bogey knocked down, and no foul is called. They did that a lot to Bogey in the first half. Nice play, Eskandarian. And it's tackled away from behind, and here comes Washington with Jimmy Steele. Steele to Askew. The test catch outside the box. Askew. Yassine made a great save. And now Yassine and Steele had a little confrontation. 
I think uh, Steele wanted a, a corner kick called because Yassine seems to have fallen on the ball out of bounds. Made a good save, seems to have fallen out of bounds and gave Yassine a little shove and, and uh, Yassine, of course, uh, retaliated. 7-11 to play in the game and the clock has stopped here as the referee is having a few words for Jim Steele who uh, was a bit too rambunctious. Steele saying that should have been a corner kick. That's all I was saying. I was just patting Earl on the back and saying, nice play, Earl, <laughs> but give me the ball because it's a corner kick. Well, he should have bumped the referee if he thought that instead of Yassine. <laughs> Earl Yassine, the first time today he's uh, banged the ball up the field. Here's Horvath, bad pass. Sanino and the Cosmos attacking to Beckenbauer. To Sanino, and it's broken up by Dreggy. Dreggy's been a tough player for Washington. Here comes Steele again. Marino took it from behind. Gets a return from Alberto. Here comes Marino. Now a lead for Denny Tourd. Irwin coming in the box. Irwin as they screen Tourd off the ball. Sanino with the intercept. Well, Cosmo's a little urgent now. Right, and you can see that uh, the dips are really uh, running out of steam, particularly in midfield. Horvath has made three or four bad passes in a row. Uh, a real loss of concentration on his part. He, keep, he flipped the ball over his head a couple of times, blind, not knowing who was behind him, and uh, that's the kind of thing you do late in the game. All right, Ricky did. Made a nice play that time over Green. Now to Marinho. Back to Franz Beckenbauer, 5.35 to play in the game. Marinho with the ball. And Jimmy Steele ran him down from behind. O'Hara. Alberto with the intercept. Back to Ricky Davis. 5.20 to play in the game. This is Bogey. Bogey in the box for Giorgio. Broken up by Mike Dillon. And O'Hara with it for Washington with 5.09 to play in the game. Horvath. Around Alberto. Here comes Horvath. And Washington running now on the counter attack. Horvath shot saved by Yassine. The Cosmos want to turn it around now. And it's Beckenbauer looking up the field. And his one pass turns it around. It's Sanino at the midfield line. Sanino turning Viteska to around. Back to Bogey. Tuart's in the box. So is Kinaya. They chip it for Tuart. And on goal, shot, and they call offsides. They call offsides with 4.31 to play in the game. And that was a good chance, Warner uh, Roth. Yeah, it was very unlucky. It was a great ball by, uh, by Bogey, and uh, just unfortunately caught, uh, caught Dennis uh, in the offside position. And that was a very close offside call as well. Most of them are, though. All right, Sininho. Marinho for Giorgio. Dreggi made a saving header away from Giorgio, who was breaking in on goal. Now to Beckenbauer with 3.59 to Ricky Davis. To Franz. Bogey to Carlos. To Sanino. Sanino quickly to the right with O'Hara. And crosses in front, and Dreggi's made the play. Dreggi's made the play again. Bogey to Giorgio, shot deflected, went over the top. They should get corner kick, they will. Kinaya unlucky that time as he wheeled and had his shot deflected over the top. George, Giorgio's good instinct for the goal there again. No matter what kind of angle Giorgio gets uh, when the ball is, no matter what kind of angle he's in when the ball is placed to him, he always, you always have the feeling that he can somehow get a shot off and goal, and uh, I think that might even have gone in had it not been deflected. And of course, these are the situation, uh, Seamus, that we're looking for at this time, getting, or any time really, getting our forwards free in the box. No, moves off his man as much as he can and usually creates a lot of space for himself in the box to get into dangerous goal-scoring situations. Tommy O'Hara has played an outstanding game, getting a breather here, shaking up on the play. Looks like he may have been hit on the left shoulder. Clock has stopped with 3.26 to play in the game. 
is all right. We're getting ready for the corner kick. Aitura will take it. Good corner. Steele heads the ball away. How about that Dreggy? Just out muscle bogey for the ball. Good ball on the right for Askew. Ricky Davis made the play. What a play by Ricky Davis, and that battle continues. And Davis made a good lead to Marinho with 2.50 to play in the game, who makes a good pass to Bogey. Now the Cosmos looking for space, and they call offside. They played Kinaya offside that time. As we said, Ricky was been, has been playing very well, uh, and uh, we've pointed out that his uh, job in midfield is often, and it has been this game as well, often very much defensive. Yet, when he does get the ball and break up a play, he makes good passes and he uh, gives, the player, gives the player that makes the best runs the ball. So he's been playing a very good game. All right, Washington up the field with 2.23, and now the clock is really a factor. And the foot race again. And again, the Cosmos win that race. Davis punched it off. Out of bounds. Eskandarian going for the ball. Davis in a bind and somehow got the ball out beautifully. Now it's Marinho running free. To Seninho on the right time, a minute 47. Seninho coming in the box. And it was tackled over the goal line. The Cosmos should get a corner kick out of this. Cosmos will get a corner kick out of this. No, they won't. They should have, though. Great run by Sininho again. Just passed, but a good defensive play. And definitely touched last by the Washington dip fullback. And, and they gave it a goal kick. They did not give him a corner. And Washington comes right back with the ball. Baraskew in the right corner. A good ball. Davis to play him. A minute 11 to play in the game. Ricky won the battle. And now they call a foul on Davis, an obstruction foul, and that was a good call. And it's a tense moment here now. We only got about 56 seconds to go, and a goal here is worth nine points. And I'll tell you, Washington's got everybody up. Only two men back. And if the Cosmos can somehow clear this and run, they could have a chance, 45 seconds. Right now, the chance belongs to Washington, though. 39 seconds. Knocked away. Shot on goal by Yarushi. Ricky Davis clears to Kinaya. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Kinaya with O'Hara. Giorgio Kinaya leads a pass here. That's knocked back and saved by Irwin the 17 seconds before it went over that goal line. Washington with 11 seconds. Horvath got it to Stokes. Back to Horvath with seven seconds. And Yassine made the play. And that's going to be the end of regulation. That's the end of regulation. Now let's see what happens. Kinaya will be going against Irwin. Every kick is important here. The first one psychologically, of course, but everyone is important. Tulsa beat Minnesota, or is leading Minnesota in the first half, 1-0. All right, let's get to the business at hand. Kinaya gets Irwin. As soon as that horns go, goes, Giorgio's got five seconds. Goalkeeper usually comes out to try to cut down the angle. A lot of strategy goes into this. Sometimes uh, the player tries to come in and beat the goalkeeper one-on-one -on -one and shove it past him. Sometimes he shoots quickly. It's not as easy as it looks. It's nervous, ladies and gentlemen, in the nation's capital. Here comes Kinaya. Irwin on him. Shot. Giorgio rolling toward the goal. It's going to be no good. Now, Giorgio, it didn't matter. And Giorgio tried to uh, knock that rebound in, it wouldn't have counted. No, it wouldn't have mattered there. because you only get one shot. Once the ball is kicked, uh, the, the goalkeeper uh, touches the ball 
uh, you can't play the ball again. Here we see Giorgio waiting, waiting for the goalkeeper to commit himself, takes the shot, hits off, hits off the keeper, and uh, unfortunately rolls past the goal. Yeah, I, uh, Giorgio, I think, hit, miss hit that ball. If you saw it from the side, his, his foot rolled over the top of the ball. It probably just took a bad bounce. I don't think he'd be happy with that shot. All right, Bateskic, Saki Bateskic, I thought played an outstanding game for Washington. Yeah. In 105 minutes, that's what the regulation game was. Now we'll take it against Yassin. Here's Irwin. Happy but thinking about the next shot. Right now it's Yassin. The test gets. Go! The test gets. A nice fake, and he took it really well. And Washington on top, 1 nothing in the shootout. Saki very happy there, as are the diplomats. That'll be Dennis to it for the Cosmos. One nothing. Washington on top. All right, Denny to it. And here they go. Irwin. Save. And the Cosmos are now in a very tough position because O'Hara's teeing it up here, and it should Washington score again. They'd have a very big 2-0 lead with three kicks to go. So the pressure really on Yassin. Definitely. The pressure is on a goalkeeper anyway in situations like this, and especially when you fall behind in, uh, in the scoring, it becomes even greater with every shot. O'Hara now. Yassin races way out. O'Hara's shot went over the top. So Yassin did a fine job that time. He raced to the head of the box and made O'Hara chip it a bit more quickly than he wanted to, Seamus. Yeah, so O'Hara did make a good move, which is to move quickly to one side. I think uh, you've got to make some kind of a move as a shooter. It's pretty hard to run straight on and then just squeeze it by at the last second. Here comes Franz Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer and Irwin. Franz shot. Goal! Beckenbauer, who made that classic goal against Minnesota to get the Cosmos on their way to the championship converts and it's 1-1 now third kick coming up and it's Sonny Askew 1-1 in the shootout third kick coming for Washington Yassine and Askew and Askew missed it and now it's tied up 1-1 after three kicks and it's going to be Marinho for the